Ha ha! Ha ha! What? What? Popping everybody. We are live. We're live. What is going on, everybody? Hope everybody is having an awesome, awesome Thursday. Justin Roswell, thank you, my man. Appreciate the uh, appreciate the super chat, bud. Thanks, man. Good way to start out the show. Thank you. So, what is going on, everybody? I hope everybody's having a fantastic Thursday already. I know I am. This freaking haul between here and what I've got over here is ridiculous. Hence, the title of this live stream. Macari is a dangerous place. Macari, so dangerous. So I hope everybody is having a good day. Let me start saying what is up to people in the chat. So let's see who's in the chat right now. We've got Curse Gamer. We got Darth Clueless. We got Matt Forsythe. We got Troy Lashley. We got Wordman. We got Big Bad Mike, Justin Rothwell again. We got my man Richard Melendez. We got David Big Dog. We got Mr. and Mrs. Funko Mania. My man Drymon Zambrino. We got Sky Mebo Collector. We got Bob Great. We got Joy. We got Jordan in there. We got Josh Kelly. We got Dom Vlogs. We got Raymond Taft. We got my man Archangel. We got J.R. Rodriguez. Primetime Reviews. Jay Stone. Jack Move Johnny, Collector Zone, my man Marcos, got Alejandro, my brother, my brother Matt Bayer's in the chat. What's up, Matty? We got It's a Pop Thing. Yo, we got my man Sick Mansion Collectibles. If you guys haven't already, make sure you go check out Sick Mansion Collectibles. That review that he just did on that Catwoman Arkham statue was freaking hilarious. The beginning was classic. Great stuff, man. We got my man John, pop it out of the box. What's up, bro? We got King Dingaling. King Dingaling. What is going on, people? We got Funky Junko. What's up? Guys, thanks for joining. It's just, yeah, I mean, you guys saw the picture that I posted on Instagram. If you, uh, if you found, you know, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you saw that picture that I posted. Again, Macari is a dangerous place. It's a great place to find older things. It's also a great place to find deals and negotiate with people. Uh, yeah, king of the pop gods. <laughs> I've had good luck so far with Makari. Yeah, me too, man. Hey, what's up, Pat? Oh, another person that's in the chat right now, Half Fast Reviews. If you guys haven't, please go check out his latest review that he just did on the Doctor Strange statue. That opening sequence, too, was freaking hilarious. Well done, sir. Well done. Well done. Where's my shout out? I just shouted you out before. Oh, guys. Also, I know the boxes are blocking right now, but if you see these prints up here and over here, thank my brother. He's in the chat, Matthew Bayer. Thank you to my older brother. He was the one who made these prints for me, so thank you. There you go. There's your shout out, dick. <laughs> What's up, Blue Rex? Uh, wow, 66 people already. Thanks, guys. I appreciate everybody jumping in. So let's go ahead and let's start. Um, let's start diving into the boxes. So if you guys, if you guys have known, um, I started moving slowly away from uh, Funko and getting more into the figures and stuff like that. So um, I bought a whole bunch of Marvel Legends to catch up on, on doing the, um, the build the figures, because I remember you guys remember, I did that live stream a couple of weeks ago where I had a whole bunch of waves and I did the build the figures and I thought that was really cool. So I bought more waves to do with you guys. So let's start opening up some boxes and let's see what we got. So here is, if I get my knife open, there we go. Makari, Makari. Macari took all my money. And Figs Daily. Figs Daily takes my money too. That son of a bitch. <laughs> Let's see. Oh my God. 
try to cut this open. Let's see what we got. All right. So the first one we got is I'm starting again. Like I said, I'm starting to catch up on a lot of um, Marvel Legends and a lot of the older waves. So one of the waves that I did wind up purchasing is the Kingpin wave. And here is the Symbiote Spider-Man. So it's got the uh, Kingpin heads in it, which is really cool. So there you go, guys. Spoiler alert. We're building the Kingpin. Kingpin. So here we go. Does this mean Seth is going to get rid of his Funko Pops? So I did get rid of um, a good chunk of my collection. Um, moving forward, um, I'm only going to be collecting WWE and anything Captain America. That's what I'm going to be doing moving forward. So any WWE pops that come out and any Captain America stuff that comes out, that's what I'm going to be doing mov moving forward. I'm going to be focusing more on Legends and Hot Toys and any other kind of figures that kind of pique my interest. So, But I still will go on Pop Hunts. I still will feature pops in my video. So don't fret. And, of course, if we come, in a cha come across a chase in the wild, no chase gets left behind, unless you're OG Geek. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, I pre-ordered the Mandalorian. And the, yep, the, that's, that's, cool, that's cool stuff, Funky Janko. The Mandalorian one is awesome. Um, let me see. Oh, no more Funko Casino. No, no, no. I'm still going to do that every once in a while, dude. So don't, don't freak out. The Funko Casino is making a comeback. Um, I just haven't seen any mystery boxes that I've been like, okay, you know, this is worth, this is worth trying. So, so here's Symbiote Spider-Man. So we'll put him aside for right now. Ugh, we got boxes for days, people. Boxes for days. Oh, you're welcome, Hats Fast Reviews. No problem, man. That's what this is about, supporting the community and supporting one another. We got 76 people watching. Sweet. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, Jesus. Could they make these boxes any more freaking difficult? That PX Loki mystery box is no joke. Yeah, it's all right. I'm not really feeling it. Happy box opening day. You're damn right, Candyman. You're damn right. I've been waiting like freaking four days already to open up all this stuff. Funko Casino is gold, Jerry. Gold. <laughs> yeah. You guys just like it when I lose. You guys just like it when I lose. I don't like to lose. I play for keeps. All right. Let's see what we got here. So you're the reason that I can't find any legends I need. Ha ha. Ah, oh, my man, Wanda Troll. <laughs> Fucking hell, I'm late. <laughs> it's all good, bro. I got plenty of boxes to open up. You excited for baseball? Hell yeah, I'm excited for baseball. Sitting here twiddling my goddamn thumbs. I just want to see my Yankees play. And so here is another one that I got. This is Nebula from the Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. So... I needed, I needed this, obviously, for the Titan diorama that I'm building. So this is Mantis. So obviously, we've doing the, we're doing the Mantis wave, and we're doing the Kingpin wave. So we got Nebula. Go Dodgers. Eh, uh, I would say go Dodgers when Don Mattingly was the manager, but that's about it. I love it when you get mad at Target and start cursing them out. Everybody does, man. Everybody does. Because Target fucking blows. What is the Marvel Legends action figure? What is the most Marvel Legends figure you have? Is that even a question? What is the most Marvel Legends action figures you have? Are you asking me how many I have? I mean, I'm sure I've got over, at least over 100 to 200 of them already, if not more. Have you ever heard of 50,000 people chant your name? That is very true, people. My brother is stating hashtag facts. We went to wrestling one time. And I got the whole arena to start chanting his name. My man, Chunky Swole. What's up, bro? What's up? Are you a Marlins fan for Donnie Baseball? Of course I'm a Marlins fan for Donnie Baseball. I'm a Marlins fan because of Jeter. I support, the Yan I support Yankees when they're not even voting for the Yankees, when they're not even playing for the Yankees. I want to hear a target chant. <laughs> 
favorite comic Marvel legend other than the 80th anniversary cap? Oh, that's easy, man. That's the uh, Captain America from Endgame that came with Thor's hammer, dude. Justin Rothwell, you're damn right. I like turtles. Where is OG Geek? He's supposed to be in here moderating this chat. There he is. <laughs> Speak of the devil. Dang, I'm late. Damn, Yank. You know what, bro? Chunky, come on, man. Come on. We could be civil, bro. I know you're a Red Sox fan, but you're, we're, we're, we could be civil with one another, all right? So here we go, guys. Here is another part of the um, Kingpin wave. We got Red Goblin. Red Goblin. And he's got uh, one of the uh, the Kingpin's legs, which is really cool. So, oh, man. Favorite Build-A-Figure. Honestly, as of right now, I'd have to say the favorite Build-A-Figure that I've done so far has been Sugar Man. That thing is just freaking really – it's really weird looking, but it's so, it's so cool. It really is. Nope. There we go. Red Goblin and Kingpin's leg. I don't know if that's a leg. That looks like a freaking thigh. The big ass fucking leg, for sure. Oh, Jesus Christ. We got boxes for days. We got later, kid. I'm out. Thanks for stopping in, Maddie. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Oh, my man, West State Kendall Popper's in the house. What's up, Joe? What's up? Hello, we are new pop hunters in the Broward area, and we are. Partimus, partisan pops on IG and would love to do a video with you someday. Absolutely. Hit me up, Matt. Hit me up, Matthew D. Follow me on Instagram and hit me up, dude. Yo, what's up, D's Geek Depot? My man, Nick Buddha. What is up? Six scale economist. What's up, my man? Saying what's up to everybody in this motherfucker. Favorite what, is that supposed to be uh, Fig Arts? SH Fig Arts? Is that what you were? Is that what you were asking, uh, Arthur? Ah, uh, see, there's always got to be one guy in the bunch that's got to spoil it. Really, dude? Freaking packing peanuts, man! These things make such a goddamn mess. Come on. All right, freaking packing peanuts. The shit's going to go everywhere now. Come on, man. I don't want to clean this shit up. What is that? The sick one is coming to West Palm Beach. Hell yeah, bro. Come hit me up. We'll go do a hunt. We'll go buy some hot toys. Hot toys. So, again, this is going along with the Mantis with the Mantis build, so we got the uh, Star-Lord. So we got Mantis's arm. And I need Star-Lord, too, even though I already have a Star-Lord there. So, oh, man, this is awesome. I love me some Marvel Legends. Marvel Legends! What do we got? We got 103 people watching right now. Thank you. Thank you all for that are watching. Set there is a Groot. Is there a Groot in one of those toys? I don't know. Say how much you get for each one. What do you mean? Like what like what it cost me? Uh, what it cost me? We're open in the box. What it cost me for each one? Well, I don't know if I want to do that because then I might then I might get crucified by you guys for what I pay for shit. <laughs> oh my god, really? Back to back fucking peanuts? Son of a bitch! Come on with this crap with the fucking peanuts! God damn it! I'm gonna give this guy a bad review on Macari for the fucking peanuts. Peanuts suck. Uh, all right, so here is Cosmic Protectors, if that's what this guy is called. He's got Mantis's other arm. So, 
Thanks, Enfear. Appreciate the support. Hey, Lisa Estrada. Tall man. That's what I'm saying, tall man. Come on, dude. There's 103 people watching, only 34 thumbs up. Come on the fuck on. So there we go right there. So that's another one. So obviously, as you guys can see, the theme, we've got Mantis going on, and we've got Kingpin. I want to get the Black Widow line from, from Crimson. I have that, dude. The Crimson Dynamo is right here, dude. It's a freaking awesome, awesome build a figure. Do you collect hot toys? You're goddamn right I collect hot toys, dude. I got Bucky right here, and I got two Detoffs over there filled with stuff. And I've got two boxes over here to open up that will have hot toys. Hot toys? Seth is a great dude. Oh, thank you, man. I appreciate that. Just got here. What's up, Brian? Wanda Troll. I only like the hot toys. Ha, ha, ha. Like and sub to this dude. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. I need to see the giant box off. We're going to get there, man. Working small. Saving the big, the, the two big ones for the grand finale. I promise you the last two boxes, you guys will not be disappointed. I promise you. What's up, Kane? Yo, my man, Pop Fun to Play. Sean, how you doing, man? Thanks for jumping in, dude. How you been, man? I hope, uh, hope everything's going well for you and, uh, you know, the shop's doing good and everything, man. I actually meant to reach out to you the other day and ask how everything's going, so. If you guys want to see some cool stuff, too, he does a lot of, he buys a lot of hauls of pops and opens them up and shows them and everything in his videos. Go check out Sean from Pop Fun to Play. Awesome guy. I had the pleasure of meeting him um, in New York at New York Comic Con this year. Awesome guy. Also went to his store and he hooked me up with a really good price on a hot toy. That's right. We're doing a test opening this weekend. Awesome, dude. I hope it goes well, man. I really do. I really do. I hope everything goes well and things get back to normal for you, man. What's up, Badger? Next video will feature Lowe's and, and Detoff mods. <laughs> My man, Hildago. Again, with the freaking peanuts. Fucking peanuts. Come on. He's just garbage. The peanuts just went all over the floor. You're getting a bad review on Macari, whoever sent that. So here we got Gamora. What's up, Daryl? So there we go. We got Gamora with one of the other legs. So pretty cool. Yeah, we love it when we go hunting too, man. We love it when we go hunting too. I'm going to send Seth a box of peanuts. Fuck you, George. <laughs> send you a box of peanuts. So it will be worth a post. <laughs> so, yeah, we got Gamora. This one's actually really cool. I like this one. This one actually looks really close, close to her. I like the weapons it comes with, and we got a mantis leg. So there we go. Seth looks like one of your dad's old head head friends who's funny and likes to embarrass you in public. <laughs> well, George, George can contest to that. Even Mike can. I embarrass everybody because I don't give a shit because I'm all about having fun. Fook me. Fook you. Hey, have you found a new Marvel Legend call? I have not found a new Marvel Legend call. It's very, it's very difficult because Pop gods and hot toys just kind of just roll off, you know, the tip of the tongue. Where Marvel Legends is kind of is kind of difficult. Oh man, my man Chad, YouTube is ninety. YouTube is ninety. YouTube is fucking catching fish. Why are you catching fish and not making comic videos? <laughs> What's up, Sandra? How you doing? Seth, I'm gonna send you a box of mayonnaise packs. Bro, really? Come on, Badger. We're way past that shit in our lifetime. We're way past that. Come on. Uh, all right. So here's... This is the last Marvel Legend box, I believe. Yeah. It's the last Marvel Legend box. I'm trying not to cut myself. It's a very dangerous place. Ooh, 
this one's got a bunch in it. Ooh, wee! All right. So this is part of the rest of the Kingpin wave. What is the most embarrassing moment you've had while with the squad OG in them? I don't know if we really have had, a, had, a, have had a, an embarrassing moment. We've had a lot of fun moments. I think one of my favorite moments was from the last video when me and him were in um, Nowhere Comics yelling at each other. So, thank you guys. We got 146 people watching right now. So, thank you. Thank you. So, here is Puma. It's got the uh, Kingpin's uh, torso. Pretty cool. Seth is rolling in the cash. <laughs> so, we got Puma. 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 And it's got the uh, Kingpin torso. Really cool. Uh, next up, we've got, we got Night Thrasher. We got Night Thrasher. <clears throat> you want $500? $500! No, I don't have any Predator figures. Sorry. Sorry, author. So, here is Marvel's Night Thrasher. And we've got another one of the uh, Kingpin's legs. So pretty cool. I can't wait to build the Kingpin. That's the one that I'm most excited about building. You got any... No, I don't get any Predator figures, bro. I don't get any Predator figures. And last but not least, we got Black Cat. Now, Black Cat comes with the arm and the cane with the jewel on it, which is really cool. So... Yeah. Yeah. I can't wait to build this together. So, guys, with these Marvel Legends that I just pulled out, I've got the Cree Century from Captain Marvel. I got the Kingpin Wave, and I got the Mantis Wave. So we will be doing a, I will be doing another live stream, um, say, next Thursday. We'll do it next Thursday again, and I'll put together the, um, the Builder figures, and we'll do what we did last time. So, woo! All right, so what I'd like to do now, what I would like to do now is before I dive into the last two boxes, um, great channel, love the Kingpin, can't wait till the retro one comes out. Yeah, I can't wait for those retro figures to come out, man. I need that Spider-Man. So... Before I dive into anything else, um, I want to take a quick opportunity for you guys in the chat to make me to maybe uh, ask me some questions, you know, maybe some things that you guys want to know that you don't know, or, you know, just anything you want to talk about in general before I dive into these last two boxes. So what do we got? Seth needs a predator hot toy. If it bleeds, we can kill it. <laughs> so what do we got? What do you guys want to talk about? You guys want to ask me some personal questions? I'm transparent. I'm an open book. Oh, also, make sure you go check out our good buddy. Um, make sure you go check out our good buddy, Dr. All Might. Um, me and OG just did his podcast, and it was a lot of fun. So um, good stuff. It was good stuff. So let's see. What do we got? So George. How much do you like those like those peanuts? I fucking hate those peanuts. Peanuts suck ass. What happened to that geek show? You guys don't do it no more? No, we're going to be doing it, man. It's just, you know, everybody's uh, schedule has been a little busy with, uh, you know, COVID and work and personal personal stuff. Got a shitload of NECA Predator figs. I think we should give them away, Seth. <laughs> Marcos, are you going to consider collecting PCS collectible statues? Yeah, if you give them to me for free. <laughs> Um, let's see. What made you start collect? What made you start collecting f collection figures? Honestly, um, you know, and I don't know how a lot of people feel about this, but you know what? I feel there's more you can do with the figures. Um, the pops, um, you can either do one or two things for them. You can either take them out of the box or you can keep them in the box. There's nothing you can really do with them, at least with the figures. 
as you guys can see, you can create your own scene. They're posable. Um, you know, the, there's articulation. You can do all kinds of cool things with the figures, and I think that's that's why I'm I'm gearing towards the figures because it 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 adds an extra layer of fun to it for me. You are one of the best YouTuber and of and OG geek. Well, thank you, man. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. He does like turtles. OG, I like turtles. <laughs> How many hot toys do I have in my collection? Um, not counting the two right here. Uh, one, two. I've probably got about maybe 20 to 30 right now, somewhere between there. It's give or take. Um, when when are you and George going to Disney again? I don't know, man, because Disney's not really open yet. And I don't know. I really don't know. Um you know, I kind of want everything to pass before I try going to Disney again. They've got so many sh restrictions now on things when you go in there. Um, a lot of the rides aren't going to be open. You're not going to be able to park hop. So it kind of takes the fun out of it for us since, you know, me and George like to bounce around from park to park. Uh, let's see. Let's see. How many bags? How many bags do you have now? I don't know what that. Oh, you mean baths? Build the figures. I've got a. I've got a bunch. You got to get another kingpin build the figure to make that shadow king. Yeah, I seen that. Yeah, I might. I might have to do that. You're the first YouTuber that I watched for Funko Pops. Well, thanks, man. I'm still gonna be doing Funko Pops. What's up, Gary? Do you have a Detoff shelf on the side of your camera? No. Um, it's on the other side of the room, unfortunately. Listen, guys, I want to re redo my room a little bit. You know, maybe get the detox behind me at some point so you guys can see the hot toys. But wasn't the Endgame Captain America your only hot toy? What happened? I don't know, Hildago. What happened? You tell me, you sick son of a bitch. You're the one who got me addicted to these fucking things. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Are there any new hot toys you're interested in? Um... The Ant-Man one, I was really kind of interested in, and then I saw the par portrait, and I was like, yeah, no, that's not happening. <laughs> I'm kind of catching up on the Hot Toys, so I'm trying to grab a lot of the um, a lot of the older ones right now. When are you going to be building, building figures live? Next Thursday, Gary. Next Thursday, I'm going to be doing a live stream where I do all the build the figures. Does the wife approve of your collecting? So here's a funny story. So I've told this a bunch of times. If you guys heard it, great. If not... You know, here it is. So, for fa I'm a huge wrestling fan. My wife, one year for Father's Day, bought me my first Funko Pop. It was a, a WWE um, Hulk Hogan. And I started to do my research on it and everything. And I found out there was like a whole slew of, of pops out there. And, you know, these things were really cool and everything. And I just went in head first. So now when I come home with boxes upon boxes upon boxes, yes, she gets mad at me. But then I point at her and I tell her it's her fucking fault. Because she's the one who bought me my first collectible. <laughs> so suck it. Uh, do a room tour. I am going to do a room tour eventually. I just want it to look aesthetically a certain way before, you know, I let everybody see. I've got shit scattered all over my room right now. So it's not kind of something um, entertaining. Did your Hot Toys Punisher War Machine earn the fuck yeah? It, I'm going to do the review. Dude, I'm so backlogged on my Hot Toy reviews. I actually have a Hot Toy review dropping on Saturday. I did the uh, review on uh, Bucky, if you can see him sitting right there. So that'll be out on Saturday. Um, I'll be selling some Hot Toy space for statues. Um, half fast. If you're selling Hot Toys, bro, hit me up, man. Shoot me a message. I'd like to see what you got. Purchased my first Star Wars Hot Toy last month, and now I have 10 on pre-order. <laughs> it does. When you start collecting figures, when did you start collecting figures and what got you addicted? Um, I started collecting figures just, you know, maybe about like a year or two ago. But what got me, what got me addicted isn't actually purchasing the figures or buying the figures. It's actually hanging out with my friends and, and, and speaking to you guys and having other people to interact with. That is my favorite part about this hobby is interacting with you guys, seeing what you guys like to collect talking to people from all kind of walks of life, whether it's here in the United States, overseas. Yeah, it's it's been a blast. Uh, I remember an old episode of yours where you did a toy hunt with the family. 
after going to Disney and your wife lost her shit on camera. Yeah, yeah, she, she's done that. She gets pissed at me. Listen, you guys don't understand, unfortunately, um, you know, how taxing, how, how taxing, um, you know, you, you know, creating content and stuff is. It takes up a good part of my, uh, part of my time, you know, from working a full-time job, from doing this, from making time with my family. So, you know, I would love to put out more content for you guys, but like two videos a week is kind of like almost my limit just because I want to make sure that I have time for everything else. Do a three, do, do of three hours and two minutes, please. <laughs> Expecting anything good from Funko's uh, reopening? Nah, not really. I got the, I got the black light pops. That was kind of, that was kind of it right now. So I was subscriber, subscriber after that episode. <laughs> what was my first hot toy? My first hot toy was the Captain America from Endgame. Not Endgame, uh, the Captain, Amar Captain America from Infinity War. That was my first hot toy. That was my first hot toy, Captain America from Infinity War. Because I'm a huge Captain America fan. So, I hear you, Seth. My Mexican wife threatened to cut me all the time. <laughs> we cut the Vato. Seth, I know a lot of good sites for hot toys. I'll send you some links. Perfect. Shoot them over. I Listen, for hot toys, I right now I'm kind of bouncing back and forth between Macari and um, some of the Facebook groups. And you really find some decent pricing. So what value what val what value a Funko Pop have to Oh, so you're basically asking what 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 um what's the price of a pop that I have to consider it a grail? I would say anything I would say anything over like a hundred, a hundred and fifty dollars would be considered a grail at that point. What toy stores do you visit that has the most Power Rangers figures? Everybody's got Power Rangers figure. Flam, ah, my man, Flambaka, do you have any wrestling figures? And if so, would you do videos on them in the future? You're the man, bro. No, you're the man, dude. You're a good guy, and I enjoy your wrestling posts. Um, unfortunately, I do not collect wrestling figures. I do buy wrestling figures, though, for my little guy. Um, he has a whole slew of them with the rings and everything, and he plays and throws them all over the house. But I do buy wrestling figures, but they're solely for him. He takes them out of the box and plays with them. I start. I started with collecting pops watching you. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. Christopher Pena, still talk to Sergeant Funko. Yes, I still talk to talk to Sergeant Funko. Um, we talk, you know, every so often. Um, you know, he's a good he's a good dude. So he's just kind of taking a break right now doing his thing and focusing on some other stuff. But he is he is doing good. What was your favorite Hulk Hulk fig on the new body? Um. I kind of like the Gray Hulk. Wrestling. Yeah, it's wrestling. Do I like Cletus? Um, you know, me and Cletus have uh, spoken a couple of times in the past. Um, it's been a while since we spoke, but, you know, it's not, not that I don't like him. You know, he's a good guy. You know, he does puts out some entertaining stuff. I started collecting legends because of your channel. Well, thank you. Did you order on the Funko Shop the 10-inch Disco Skeletor? No, I did not. I did not order that one. Do you like Greg Cook? Yes, I do like Greg Cook. Greg Cook is an awesome guy. Um, because of him, um, in one of his videos, um, that was what inspired me to try building um, one of those, uh, one of the uh, figure stands out of uh, out of wire. So I watched his video on that. He's a really good guy. I really enjoy his hunts. Really entertaining. So you guys should go watch him. You make funny. You make fun videos. You're the reason I go pop hunting. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. What got me into Legends? Um, Captain America. I'm a huge. Like I said, I'm a huge Captain America nut. So I try to collect everything and anything Captain America. And there was just a bunch of Captain Americas that I saw, and I was like, crap. Now I'm hooked. And then, of course, you get everything else. You get the Iron Mans. You get the Build the Figures. The X Men ones are awesome. It just, you know, it just snow snowballs. It just snowballs every time. Seth, you just inspire me. <laughs> Any opinions on the new Masters of the Universe Mega Blocks? I don't know. I really don't do Legos. That would be more of a question for my counterpart and my better half on this channel, George. Have you ever checked out Jazz Jazz Inc. stuff, Seth or George? I don't know what that I don't know what that is, man. So um, I don't know if George has. 
What's the most you've ever spent on a Funko Pop? Very, very easy. Very easy. The most I've ever spent on a Funko Pop had to be about 500 bucks. Do you like Power Rangers? I mean, back in the day when I was a kid, but now it's just like meh. Meh. Did you order the 10-inch Chrome Mando? No, I did not. What do you think of Jetta? Jetta's a good dude. Me and Jetta have actually been talking a little bit lately. I actually want to try to get him on and talk to him about some uh, hot toys and uh, six scale stuff. So what's the most expensive? What's your most expensive hot toy? My most expensive hot toy is probably what's sitting in this box right here. Probably sitting right here. No, I do not have that thousand dollar Sully. It's gone. Sorry, Badger. Are you a Funko douchebag? I was a Funko douchebag. I don't think I'm a Funko douchebag anymore. All right. So what do you think about Josh Pence? Josh Pence is an awesome guy. Uh, me and him just started talking recently. Um, I, again, I enjoy his hunts. I enjoy his live streams. You know, he's another, he's another guy. And he's got some really cool stores out where he's at in Ohio. So, you know, who knows? You know, maybe we can try to get Josh Josh on one time and talk and hang out with him. I know OG. I know OG's hung out with Josh Pence, and you know he's also hung out with Big Dub. Big Dub is another another cool guy. Listen, if you guys haven't checked out OG's video where he was actually hanging out at Big Dub's house, and you get to see Big Dub's collection, you guys need to go check out that video. That puts every hot toy collection I've ever seen to shame. Let's see. Who else do we got? All right. We're going to open the box. We're going to open the box. Oh, do I know Shardimus? Of course I know Shardimus. Shardimus Prime is like the savior of like my action figure life. Because of him, I watched his videos and I learned how to pose action figures. So thank you, Shardimus Prime. Um, No, I don't talk to Unparalleled Universe. I don't know who that is. If it's somebody, If it's somebody I should watch, let me know. I'm always open. All right. Oh, Jesus Christ. Here's the big boy. Here is the big boy. Oh. Me to sharpen this goddamn knife. Jesus. I wish it was a whole buster. It is a freaking big package. God damn it. Can't people just put shit in a fucking normal box? God, and this thing is taped to shit. There we go. All right. And more peanuts. Fucking peanuts. Come on. Oh, Jesus Christ. All right. We're going to put this down here for a second. All right. All right. All right. There we go. Woo. Oh, man. Fucking box jesus all right guys so this is one hot toy that i've been wanting for a while i'm super excited to get it here it is this is the hulk from the first avengers movie hot toys hot toys boys so we got the hulk we got a hulk OG, you are the man also, bro. Love your vids. Uh, Hulk, don't be sad. I love you. Don't be sad. Don't be sad. Don't be angry. Calm down. Oh, what, what is it? What is it? Sun's getting low, big guy. Sun's getting low. <laughs> oh, man. This thing is awesome. Um, uh, Let me see. Let me see how difficult it is to take it out of the box. Let me go give you guys just a quick peek. Let's 
Oh my god. All right. Um, ah! There we go. Right on camera. Just dropped right on me like a ton of bricks. There you go. There we go. And there is your YouTube laughter moment of the day. I dropped it like it was hot. Oh, my God. This thing is fucking ridiculous. Look at that. Look at that. That thing is so cool. That thing is so freaking awesome. Hulk. It's my Hulk. My Hulk. Uh, thank hey, there you go, guys. There he is right there. Jetta. What's up, Jetta? Breaking for Hot Toys Entertainment. <laughs> what's up, man? So, yeah, we got we got a Hulk. We got a Hulk. So, let's put Hulk back in the box. Oh, my God. This thing is heavy as hell. This thing is heavy. But we got a Hulk. We got a Hulk. Put the Bucky next to it? Oh, come on, man. I just put it. Listen, the next one I'll put up next to the Bucky, okay? God, you guys are killing me. All right. Put you back in the box for now, Hulk. Save you, save you for the review. Oh, I know it, man. I, Jetta, I actually got both Hulks on a really good deal on the um, the one six scale BST group on Facebook. I know you're in that group too. I've seen you. So, yeah, I, I got a good deal on both of these. So, uh, we're down to the last box, folks down to the last box, and I decided to save the best for last. Oh, I decided to save the best for last. I've got to turn it so you guys can't see what it is. Actually, i got to open it this way and pull it out. That's what she said. <laughs> All right. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, man. Oh. You ever see a YouTuber cut him, cut himself live on TV? That almost just happened. Oh, you guys. You guys are going to go insane for this one. I swear it. Oh. Good. Oh. Another Hulk. Another Hulk. Oh my God. We got Gladiator Hulk. Raging Fire. You're damn right, Jetta. Oh my God. Listen, I'm all about going big and going home in the hot toy game, and clearly you guys can see I went big. Hot toys? Hot toys. All right, let's see if we can get this one out of here and not have it freaking collapse on me. Oh, oh man, this thing is sick. Holy shit, this, this shit is huge. Oh, this guy wrapped it like a pro. Look at this. Oh, yeah, there we go. You guys can see it. I don't want to open it just yet. So, so you guys can see there's the Gladiator Hulk. You got the head sculpt, the, he the helmet, the arms, the hammers. Oh, my God. Oh my God, Hot Toys. What am I gonna do? Hot Toys. 
Oh, man. Hot toys. Hot toys. Hot toys. Oh my god, I've been waiting. I've been waiting days to open this thing up. Oh, it's so freaking cool. Holy crap. That's even this Hulk is even bigger than the other one. Holy shit. I don't know if this is gonna fit in my freaking detox. Oh crap. <laughs> That's the best Hulk. Congrats on the pickup. Thanks, man. Dude, Jetta, message message me um when you get a chance, dude. I'll tell you actually what I paid for it. You'll be surprised. <laughs> I got this thing on a freaking steal. So um yeah. Uh guys. It's crazy opening. Legends, hot toys. Do I need do I dare dive into the statue realm? Don't know. I mean, I did buy that quarter scale Captain America, but that was Captain America's. Captain America's my jam. I do like Mezcos, man. I have Mezcos. Thanks, Carlos. Appreciate it, man. Um yeah, I mean, there's a few there's a few things I've been a few statues I've kind of been eyeing, but title for next week video: modding detox to fit Hulk on my way to Lowe's. <laughs> it will fit in a detox. Six Mansion Collectibles has one in his detox. All right, well I'll have to reach I'll I'll have to reach out to you, man. Get another statue. Statues. Only Star Wars statues for me. Only Star I canceled that quarter. Oh, did you really, man? Dude, you don't know what you're missing out on, Jetta. God, that Iron Studios Captain America is freaking amazing. The IRS is going to have to audit you if you keep going like this. <laughs> Thanks, Mike. Mike, what's going to happen tomorrow when we're in Tampa, dude? What is going to happen tomorrow when we're in Tampa? By the way, guys, um, I haven't filmed anything this week because me and Mike, I'm actually driving to Mike tomorrow, and me and Mike are going to Tampa um, and we're, Mike's going to take me around to some of the comic shops around there. Maybe we might find more hot toys. Maybe we might find new statues. Who knows? But you guys will have to wait until Tuesday to see that video. So I apologize. But just to give you guys just a tease, just a tip, just a second. Next, purchase the Hulkbuster. I do. I don't know. I don't know about purchasing that Hulk, Hulkbuster. That Hulkbuster is eleven hundred dollars. Eleven hundred dollars. You should get on the SH Fig Arts Iron Spider, that new one. Seth, you should become a singer. And that way you can pay for these dudes. <laughs> these dudes. Huh? I should become a singer? I don't know. I haven't sung in a while. Last chance. Romance for love. <laughs> I would buy that Hulkbuster. Good. Go buy it then, George. Go buy it. What's up, Thomas? What's your most expensive Funko Pop? <coughs> my most uh, expensive Funko Pop is my San Diego Comic-Con. There's a tip jar for singing. <laughs> the, the, my most expensive Funko Pop is my metallic um, San Diego Comic-Con uh, Ghost Rider. That's my most uh, expensive one. I think that one's sitting around like 500 and something dollars. Are you going to get the Thor to fight with that Hulk? So... George has mentioned that, and Mike is all, and OG has also mentioned that that I should get the uh, the gladiator um, the gladiator Thor to go along with this. So I just might we might find it tomorrow. Who knows? Everything you watch, keep up the awesome content. No problem, man. I appreciate it. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for supporting the channel. We thank all you guys, me and George. We support you guys from the bottom. Thank you guys from the bottom of my heart for supporting us and everything like that. We really appreciate it. Um, you know. The whole goal is just to share the fun with everybody, and that's that's what we're doing. We're just having fun with this. So, Jimmy Buckets, I like turtles. I like turtles. Turtle dick. <laughs> Actually, you know what? So, for those of you that don't know about how hard of a time I give OG because of turtle dick. So, I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see this, but this is the actual Ninja Turtle figure that he bought. And if you guys could see, right there, there's the little turtle dick. See it? You see the little turtle dick? <laughs> turtle dick! So, oh, man. 
What is your most expensive Legends figure? Very easy. That would be this. This is the um, Apocalypse uh, Build-A-Figure. This one's the most expensive one I got right now, or this is the one that I've paid the most for. Actually, no, that is not true. I, I, am, I apologize. I apologize for that. I retract that previous statement. The most expensive Marvel Legend legend in the most expensive marvel legend in my collection is rogue that is the most expensive one in my collection is rogue so still sticking with the yankees this year with my prediction for a while <laughs> so yeah rogue rogue is the most expensive one in my collection is it just me or is the black light collection the most disorganized release ever absolutely dude listen I don't know how many times I've got to say it. I'm like a freaking broken record when it comes to Target, man. Okay? You would think that the corporate office would send out an email or some kind of notification that trickles down to the other stores to make them aware of saying, hey, the shipments of this item is on the way. They are to be on display at this time on this day so the customers can purchase it. But no, Target says, fuck the customer. We're going to do what we want. So do you have any Yankee figures? And if so, of who? I do have Yankee figures. I have um, some of the McFarlane ones. I've got the uh, um, Jeter. I've got um, I've got a bunch of them somewhere. They're all in my office at work. <clears throat> what wrestling Funko would you like to see them make next? Great question, dude. I would love to see more of the older wrestlers. Like, I would love to see a two-pack of um, Marty Jannetty and uh, Shawn Michaels, a Rockers two-pack. I would love to see a two-pack of the Legion of Doom. Um, I would love to see a two-pack of Demolition. I'd like to see maybe, like, the Honky Tonk Man. Um, I'd like to see Hacksaw Jim Duggan. Um, who else? Who else? I'd like to see one of Bobby the Brain Heenan. I'd like to see one of Gorilla Monsoon. Who else? Who else? Maybe Earthquake and Tugboat. You know, a lot of the older guys. Big Papa Pump. Yeah, I'd like to see a Scott Steiner. Big Papa Pump's your hookup. Holla, if you hear me. <laughs> the British Bulldogs. I'd like to see a two-pack. Here you go. That just, remind, that just reminded me, Darth Clueless. I would like to see a two-pack of Bret Hart and Jim the Anvil Neidhart and have the Hart Foundation. That would be cool. I would want to see Hulk Hogan and Ultimate Warrior. That's, you know what? That would be a cool idea. So let me, let me elaborate on your idea. They should make, like how they make movie moments and stuff like that, they should make a, mo a wrestling moment of Hulk Hogan body slamming Andre the Giant. Boom. There's your idea, Funko. Fucking run with it. Million dollars in my hand. Sold. Funko, if you're watching, I got ideas for days. Call me on the shell phone. I'll be waiting. Uh, all right, guys. It's about that time. So, uh, yeah, it's about that time. So I can't believe we had, God, man, we're killing it every time I do a live stream. We get like a shit ton of people in. You guys are the best. Thank you so much for coming out. You guys are awesome. I hate Pops. Why would I buy that? Hey, man, everybody's entitled to their own. Listen, when it comes to Pops, I feel like Pops are the gateway, are the gateway drug into collectibles. Like Pops is like marijuana, and then you get into your Marvel Legends. It's like crack and heroin. and <laughs> So... No, I did not get the McFarlane Bloodshot figure. I did not. Um, so, guys, yeah, that's going to wrap it up for tonight. I only wanted to keep it an hour for tonight. I got a long – yo, my man Chris. My man Chris Birdie. Dang, what's up, bro? I did change the room. Thanks, man. I'm still working on it. Yes, Hot Toys is meth. Hot Toys is meth. Hot Toys. So, guys – Thanks for joining me tonight. I got to wake up early tomorrow because I got a, about a two-hour drive to get to OG Geek. So thank you guys for joining me. I really appreciate it. Um, stay tuned. Uh, next week is next Thursday. I'm going to do the live stream with the building, uh, doing the Build-A-Figure Waves. 
of Mantis Kingpin and the Cree Century. So make sure you join me for that. Oh, yeah, guys. Oh, yeah. So, guys, thanks for joining. Much appreciated. I love you all very much. Make sure you guys subscribe, like, comment, all that other good shit. And in the good words of my man, OG Geek, thanks for watching. Later, guys. Love you. Good night.